Keeping them on here and welcome back. Okay, so first off, I know we're in a different location than normal, but I saw that the new Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey Part 2 trailer dropped about three days ago. And when you're seeing this, it's going to be a lot longer ago. But I am so excited. I absolutely despised the first movie. It was an absolute awful piece of cinema. And not to mention, it scarred me in ways that, like, it took me months to recover after watching that movie. I really wanted to check out the second trailer because I saw that it had dropped one. Number two, it got a sequel in the freaking first place, which was mind-blowing. And number three, it looks like it actually has some potential to be a good horror movie. I mean, this budget looks like it was more than $2, and that's amazing considering the first one cost, like, 50 cents. So, I'm really intrigued. I really want to check it out. Just check it out. Probably won't actually watch the sequel, but I just want to see what the production value looks like for this sequel because it looks better than the first. My first time watching the trailer of Wind of the Pooh, Blood and Honey, Part 2. All right, let's get into it. Right, right, right. And then, okay, so I want to see if they also address, because Christopher Robin was spared and everybody else died in the last movie, and he ran off. So, I don't know. Is he back for this one? Yeah. I'm going to take you back. Oh God, don't take me back, please. Always drift away. How are you feeling? Good, I think. Do you recall that the same actor? Session. Focus. What is happening? Oh, I don't want to. This was the day Billy was taken. No kids. Oh God. Oh God. Oh! Oh God! It's as if the earth itself was allowing this horror to rise up. Oh, we always gotta have some dumb beaches in the middle of the freaking woods doing weird shit. Oh my God! Damn! Loads of murders being dashed down. Ew! Why does his why does his nails look like that? Wait, he fucking talks now? And then we got a girl in a skimpy outfit. That's to be expected. Oh my gosh. Get a chainsaw on fire. Wow. Okay. Okay, um, wow. Okay, so as far as budget, um, the makeup does look better. The costumes look better. The premise looks a little bit better. Um, I feel like what it's lacking that the first one had so much of was campiness. But it's hard because the first one was so awful and so clearly, like, such a concept of, like, a student film that... Like, even the costumes were, like, some burly men in overalls and flannel shirts wearing obvious Halloween costumes. It's so hard because this one looks like it takes itself way more serious and, at the same time, not really that serious. I mean, we had a chainsaw on fire, so, I mean, how seriously can we take it? But it does look exactly like what it's advertising like. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna have gore, like for sure we gotta have the gore because, you know, it's a horror movie. More than anything, like I said, the makeup is actually a lot better. The costumes are actually a lot better. I feel like it's kind of almost distracting how much better this one looks because they actually look scary in this one. In the first one, they look scary in the sense that it was more disturbing to look at them rather than scary imagery. I don't know what else to say. Other than I think the makeup looks better, I think the costumes look better, I think um, it's gonna be a fun horror movie. I think Waiting for Halloween would be smart, but they're not gonna do that. I think it would have been the right audience though for it. But I don't know, these are just my thoughts and opinions. What did you guys think? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Will you watch it or will you skip it? And if so, why? Let me know down in the comments below and thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying awesome and until next time, guys. Bye! Okay, so quick editor Sherlock here. Um, it turns out, no, that is not the same actor who played Christopher Robin in the first one. They probably couldn't get him back because he went off the grid um, after that movie. 
why is it so much better than the first one? Why did they put so much faith in the second one, but they put, like, nothing into the first one? I am so shocked at the budget for this movie. I honestly am kind of curious. I want to look up the budget real quick with you guys, and then we'll shut this down. But I want to look it up, because... They had to have done more. First one only cost them $100,000, which that's way too much anyway. Those masks only probably cost about $50 easily. Um, but yeah, I don't know what the budget... They don't seem to tell me what the budget is for the second one. But it has to be a lot higher because they're clearly putting more faith into it. They also won't even let you look at photos on Google without confirming that you want to see them because they are so bloody. Like, let me show you guys really quick. They don't even show you half the photos yet because they're, like, censored for being disturbing. And then I go to view it and it's like that. <laughs> and I'm like... Why even bother having the censorship at this point? Like, if you're looking up this movie, you probably know what you're getting yourself into. Mm. Alright, well, let's look at this one real quick. <laughs> yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow.